This tale commenced a couple of years ago. In the Gold Coast suburb of Queensland, Australia. What unfolded then marked the genesis of an enduring and joyful bond between a magpie, a Staffordshire Terrier, and a woman. One day, a woman was strolling through the park with her pit bull. When she spotted a small magpie on the ground, it appeared to have fallen from its nest. And the chick's feathers, which were just beginning to emerge, were adorned with thorns, dirt, and straw. Concerned, the woman summoned her husband to assess the situation and see if the chick could still take flight. Soon, it became evident that the little magpie couldn't survive on its own. Thus, they made the decision to bring the magpie home and bestowed upon it the name Shermali. The woman nourished Shermali with specialized bird food and contemplated introducing her to Molly, the pit bull. The woman was aware of magpie's sharp beaks and had seen them confront Peggy before. Therefore, when Shermali approached the dog on all fours, Peggy instinctively jumped back. However, Peggy didn't attempt to hide or harm the newcomer. The couple continued to care for Shermali and endeavored to facilitate a connection with Peggy. To achieve this, they brought the pets together, offering them treats and engaging in playful activities. A breakthrough occurred when Molly approached Peggy and laid down beside her. Peggy didn't retreat but instead inched closer being exceedingly cautious not to harm the small creature. This marked the inception of a tender friendship. As Molly recuperated and grew, the woman made a deliberate choice not to restrict Shimali's freedom. The magpie could come and go as it pleased, sometimes disappearing for several days, but consistently returning to the family fold. Peggy and Molly became inseparable companions. However, Due to Peggy's advancing age, she couldn't always partake in energetic play. On such occasions, she would feign slumber instead of flying away. Over time, Molly even learned to mimic the barking of a dog. It seemed that Shermali had started to identify itself as one of the pack. If you enjoyed this heartwarming story, please show your support by liking and subscribing to our channel for more incredible stories. Experienced Hunter says, Don't look into the eyes of the beast, because they can sense humans fear and attack them. When encountering an animal in its natural habitat, you better look away. You move slowly to a safe distance. But remember never turn your back on it. The protagonist in today's story may not know this rule or she may have forgotten this rule at the most critical moment. There are many unusual things in this story. But we have no answers. Maybe after hearing this story, you can explain this unusual behavior of wild tigers. This happened many years ago. This remote village is haunted by tigers. Natalia took her husband and son away from the noisy city. They came to live in a quiet place near the forest with many young locals heading to the cities to make a living. There are tons of housing options here. There are also many job opportunities here. Natalia graduated from an agricultural university with a degree in veterinary medicine. She worked very successfully in the animal hospital. Natalia's husband Andrew is a top-notch welder. He can easily find a job. The only downside is that Natalia's work is far from home. Every day she follows a road through a forest. She is so afraid of wild animals that her husband picks her up from get off work every day. He also carries a shotgun with him. He is not for hunting, but for protecting his wife. So they will be safer. After get off work every day, Natalia would look into the distance to find her husband and happily run to meet him. But one day, Andrew didn't come. Natalia looked into the distance for a long time. But her husband did not appear. It's getting dark. 
she has no choice but to walk alone in the forest. She can hear her footsteps. The sounds are enough to scare her. This is the first time she has walked this path alone. Her husband didn't come to pick her up. What happened? Just a few hours ago. Andrew is working. He wants to finish work on time so he can meet Natalia. He was so preoccupied with getting the job done. As quickly as possible that he completely forgot about safety. On that day. He was cutting metal rods that he would later use to. Weld the roof frame of a new shed. But because of his inattention. The tool fell from his hand. It did him a fatal injury. He died before reaching the hospital. Natalia goes into the bushes. She walked halfway. She felt a pair of eyes staring at her. She is very scared. She turned slowly and saw a huge tiger right behind her. The tiger is a few meters away from her. It stood there staring into her eyes. But at the same time. She thinks this look is very familiar. She thinks she knows its eyes. Out of fear and confusion. Natalia passed out in front of the huge beast. How long was she lying there? She didn't know. But she woke up in the hospital. It turned out that after the locals learned of Andrew's death. They come to find Natalia. She was lying on the ground and people couldn't wake her up. People took her to the hospital. When a woman comes to her senses. What awaits her is a new blow. Her husband died. For a long time. The woman was unable to face reality. Only her son can ease her pain. His son was there for her in those difficult days. Time goes by. Her pain gradually eased. Natalia went to work again. Now it's her son who picks her up from get off work every day. While women resent it. The boy insists on it. One day the boy was walking back along the trail. And saw raspberries in the bushes. He told mom to stay here. He wants to pick raspberries. He didn't notice that a huge brown bear appeared beside him. Natalia was the first to see the beast. She whispered to her son. But he didn't hear. The woman bent down slowly and picked up the stick from the ground. She yelled and rushed towards the bear, diverting its attention. She wants her son to escape as soon as possible. The bear got up and started growling. But then the bear howled in pain. It turned out that a beast threw it down. At this time, Natalia discovers that a tiger attacked the bear. This tiger looks familiar and this woman feels pain. The tiger stayed here for a while before disappearing into the bushes. Local residents who heard the story said. Her husband's soul lived in a tiger's body. He guards his wife and son in another way. His death did not mean leaving his wife and son. He became a tiger to guard his wife and son. What do you think of this story? Do you think this statement is reliable? Do you have any other explanation for this strange behavior of the tiger? Hope you can share your opinion in the comments. Maybe you've heard similar stories. Or do you know why the tiger didn't hurt Natalia and her son? And the tiger saved them. Hello everyone. If you're seeing my column for the first time. And you want to know something new and interesting. Here will definitely increase your knowledge. Please make sure you are subscribed to this channel. And activate the notification ringtone. So you don't miss the good news. Morris lives in a village near the forest. There are a lot of wild animals living there. Different from others. Morris doesn't like to hurt animals. He's passionate about helping them. Morris will take his weapon. And go to the forest every day to collect mushrooms. He generally does not use weapons except in self-defense. Because beasts are common in that forest. Morris is also working to protect forests from litter. Every day he clears the forest and takes out bags full of rubbish. Why do people in the village laugh at him? Ridicule him. One day, as usual. 
he goes to the forest to collect herbs with a garbage bag and basket. On the way to the forest, he found a group of newborn tiger cubs lying under the trunk. They have trouble in breath. Morris heard a voice approaching him. Then he turned around. Suddenly, Mother Tiger appeared. It slowly approaches the cubs and hugs them. The man identified these are her cubs. He tries to get away without the tigress noticing. He turned away silently. At this time, the tiger saw the man. It knows the man doesn't want to hurt these little tigers. Morris continued walking in the forest. But he was taken aback by this mother tiger. Because it still follows him. Morris then decided to move on. He wants to know what the tiger wants to do. The tiger is back where those cubs used to be. At this time. The man understands that the mother tiger wants him to help the cubs. The man uses his vast experience to provide first aid to cubs. Four of the cubs are in good health. And one tiger cub still has health problems. It is unable to stand up due to coughing and difficulty breathing. When Morris was about to leave. The mother tiger approached him with her cub in her mouth. Then it put the little tiger down. The man realizes mother tiger wants him to take cub to hospital. Morris left quickly with the cub. And the mother tiger kept watching him. Morris knows the cub is very sick. He immediately went to the nearest veterinarian. Over there. The veterinarian treated the cub. And gave it some medicine and vitamins. The vet then advised Morris to feed it well. When Morris came back. He put the little tiger in a room. The man named it Lackey. It is being treated. One of Morris's neighbors is named Michael. This man has caused a lot of trouble in the village. But Morris discouraged him every time. Michael upset about Tiger in Morris' house. He wants Morris out of here. Let the Tiger back into the forest. Or it will be a threat to the villagers. But Morris refused his request and deported him every time. One day. When Morris and Lackey were in the woods. He has a bad feeling. He hurried home and left the tiger there. When Morris returned home, he noticed smoke coming from the window. He found the glass in the kitchen was broken. The kitchen caught fire and he tried to put it out. But it causing him to pass out. He then looked at the doctors and thanked them for their help. But paramedics told Morris a pack of tigers saved him. Hearing this. He realized that it was Lackey's brother and mother who saved him. They all got him out of the house. The police later found out the truth of the fire. The culprit of all this is Michael. He's trying to get revenge on Morris. For getting him arrested by the police. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video. We will get back to you as soon as possible.